There is a major history museum in Arles that is really worth walking to. It takes about 15 or 20 minutes to walk here from the center of town, and it displays a lot of the treasures from the ancient Roman period of Arles. And they have got a lot of the original glassworks, the tools, the gold jewelry, the statues, all on display here at the archeological museum and some earlier pieces that date back to the Stone Age. We have statues of the various emperors and a large 3D model of Arles in the time of ancient Rome, showing how sophisticated the buildings were. It was a major town. Here's the theater, and the theater as we see it today is really a reconstruction. Only the columns in the foreground are original. The amphitheater is quite original and still standing as it was in the time of Vespasian, who also built the great Colosseum in Rome. Here's the sarcophagi, or the tombs, of the Romans and some early Christians. The stone coffins are richly decorated with sculpture depicting daily life. And there's a large collection of mosaic floors. This lady riding the bull is called Europa. It's interesting that even 2,000 years ago, they talked about Europa or Europe. Well, the elevated platforms enable you to look down on this large collection of floors. These are taken from Roman homes through archeological excavations, and they reveal brilliant scenes created with tiny pieces of colored stones. There's other statues here depicting the emperors, various sea creatures. The Roman portrait bust was a really refined art form in ancient Rome 2,000 years ago. Nereids, the zodiac, the various seasons are represented. And here's little models of their engineering feats. They had bridges across the river here, and apartment houses. The Romans were truly amazing inventors and the world's most impressive engineers at that time 2,000 years ago. More views of the sarcophagi. There is a major Roman burial grounds in Arles also. And also on display here are original glassworks and small statues. There's tools and gold jewelry and we've got items dating back to the Stone Age and the Bronze Age. Here's a view of the theater. There's very little left of the ancient Roman theater, just a few columns, but the townsfolks have actually rebuilt the theater, as you see here, and they have performances, so it's built in the style of the old theater. And typically the Romans would even build a roof across the theater to protect it from the weather. These dramatic displays remind us that Arles was one of the largest economic centers in the Roman Empire. With a busy commercial harbor and an extensive urban core, more views of the amphitheater. And they're doing some renovation work on it. And even in ancient Rome, you can see they were doing some renovating, ongoing maintenance. That's what's kept it standing for nearly 2,000 years. This could hold 23,000 people. It's really the best preserved amphitheater from ancient Rome to be found anywhere in Europe today. Another view of the scale model of the town itself. And next we'll take a walk under the ancient Roman Forum. The Forum was the center of social life in ancient Arles. And miraculously, a large part of it is still preserved underground. These barrel vaulted arcades used to be street level, but now they are slightly underground and beautifully preserved for you to walk through today as the Cryptoporticos Museum of Arles. The function of these barrel vaulted spaces is a little bit uncertain, but it's believed they were used for storage. They were like warehouses and also provided the foundation for the main structure of the forum up above. It's a little spooky down there. You walk down below, entering through this church, 
and they keep it kind of dark and it's a little dank down in the basement but definitely quite fascinating and worth a visit you go below the crypt of that church into the crypto porticos and then back into the streets of Arles for some more strolling <laughs> 